Students at Central High School received an inspirational visit from the first African American to win medals in ski racing at the Winter Paralympic Games. But Bonnie St. John's greatness goes beyond athletics as she became a Harvard educated economist, Rhodes Scholar, and author. A one legged black girl from San Diego with no money can get all the way to the Olympics in skiing and win? What is possible for you? Today we had Bonnie St. John join us um, as a guest speaker. Um, she was very inspiring. She won the 1984 um, bronze and silver medal. The point is my real leg comes down to here. She actually had her leg amputated at the age of five years old. And um, she went on to become a bronze and silver medalist in the Paralympic Games in 1984 in downhill skiing. She gave me the strength to get through the hard stuff the painful stuff in order to get to a better place. I think definitely the most important lesson that anyone can learn from uh, Miss St. John is that, you know, perseverance is, it can bring us through anything. And if you have the perseverance and the will to um, truly push yourself, then there's not, there's nothing that can truly stop you. And I think that shows with, you know, having your leg amputated and then going on to win the Olympics just shows how, um, how much you can really achieve if you have the perseverance to keep pushing yourself. Do you have friends who sometimes say, you know, oh, you know, you can't do that? Or do you have friends that say, I know you can do it? To never give up, even when you think that there is no way, when you keep hearing no, when everything just seems like it's, it's closed, it's never closed. There's a light at the end of the tunnel as long as you keep going. You have to persevere and have faith. My leg starts to wobble. I'm thinking if I could just finish this race, I could win the gold, but I fell down. During one of the um, races during the Olympics, she fell and she had the, you, you have the, I think we all fall at times and we all have that chance to get back up and that's what she did. She got back up and she won the bronze medal. The fact that she got back up still placed her among the top athletes in the world. How do you humble yourself to keep going? Because a lot of times it is our pride that gets in the way, isn't it? Is we're too proud to fail. I don't want to try something because I look bad if I fail. And I'll tell you, anything you want to do that's worth doing, you need to do it badly first. Because you got to be bad at it before you're going to be good at it. Nobody walks out and is just good at everything the first time. I think a lot of times one of the problems is a lot of students um, that maybe sit in the back of the classroom miss this message of perseverance and resilience. And so I think the fact that the entire school was able to get this message, I think it gives those students at the back of the classroom a really a reason to strive and something to go for. And if they have that perseverance, they can achieve anything whether um, people tell them they can or not. The communities today, sometimes kids, they hear a lot of no and they don't get to see the distance on where they could go. And so for someone to actually come back and tell them, I made it and you can too, that gives them the courage and that gives them the knowledge of what it is to persevere. And it actually lets them know firsthand, this is what you're gonna experience. You're gonna hear no, but don't give up because I heard no too and look where it got me. I wouldn't have the freedom to do these things and have these experiences if I hadn't taken my education seriously so that I could manage my own business and have the freedom to make choices and create my life the way I do. So I just wanted to underscore that what you're learning here is the source of your freedom and power to have an extraordinary life, no matter what.